Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nigel Oxley and this is what to watch. No fancy intro today, we're just going to get straight into it with a no-nonsense review of this, the Casio G-Shock 2100. I've got two colours here, the grey and the blue. Now the hype with this model is over and the prices have come down, so maybe you're looking to buy one. I've had hands on now with these for over a year, so I can give you the good and the bad, and you can make your own mind up as to whether you want to buy one or not. Let's get into it. Firstly, let's talk about the dimensions and wearability. For those not new to the channel, you'll know that I have very small wrists and they're about six and a half inches, meaning that most, well, all previous G-Shock models would have been far too big for me. But this one is very thin, meaning that even though it's a large watch, it actually sits pretty nicely on my wrist and wears very comfortably. The full dimensions are 45 millimeters in diameter, 12 millimeters thick, meaning it's the slimmest G-Shock ever, and 48 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. And the fact that the strap actually goes straight down from the lug tips means that it wears a lot smaller than the 45 millimeter diameter would suggest. The other beauty about this is the fit only weighs 50 grams. So you hardly notice it's on your wrist and you can wear it all day without any ache. Let's talk about functionality. This watch certainly does do a lot. The dial has um, analog hour, hour and minute markers and a digital second display and it also has a day of the week indicator over on the left but the list of functions doesn't end there it does go on and on so here goes this watch has time day date world city dual time five alarms countdown timer stopwatch and a light now if you're buying a G-Shock, obviously you're concerned about how rough and tough it is, or how rough and tough it can be. This particular model comes with a carbon core guard, which if you can see is an extra layer of carbon that protects this module uh, from impacts rather than plastic on other G-Shock models. It has 200 meters of water resistance, so you can swim in it without fear of it getting damaged, well, internally anyway. If I just grab my blue model here, have a look at the discoloration from around the bezel. Now that discoloration happened after the first time I took it swimming in a swimming pool. Um, I was actually in a swimming pool for about 20 minutes and I came out and all the grey had started to rub away from the from the bezel here um, and what you can see is the actual blue coming through from underneath it so I was at first I was a little bit annoyed about that and I was going to phone them or send it back but actually because this is kind of a little bit of a beta watch I actually quite like the way that that looks but if keeping your watch uh, looking brand new and pristine is something that is important to you then I would buy that, bear that in mind before you go and place an order for this blue model. The crystal on these is just a piece of plastic with no anti-reflective coating. As you can see there with the way that the light is just bouncing straight back off the dial of this watch. It um, makes it very difficult to photograph this watch in certain lights, um, but it is quite legible, uh, so it doesn't really affect the usability of the watch. Now the watch gets its nickname the Casio due to its octagonal shape, vaguely re re resembling that of a AP Royal Oak, although I think that is a little bit of a stretch to be honest. Uh, it is really a good, uh, fun, rugged watch. Um, I tend to wear this with jeans and t-shirts at the weekends and it's for that reason that I bought these two options, the grey and the blue, as most of my casual clothes are blue and grey um, and I even have a pair of trainers that go really well with the grey perfectly. I didn't go for the black as most of the watches I have are black and I wanted to add some colour into the collection. Other colours are available in this watch including uh, a green and black, a yellow and black, um, a black and white and a black on black as well as a load of other colour options that um, Casio have, uh, have just launched recently. 
Pricing on this is great now. They were trading at a, um, a higher price than the RRP when they first came out because nobody could get hold of them. However, because there's a newer model available and because these are now readily available in stores and online, if you look on Amazon, for instance, depending on the color, you can get these from between 70 to 80, 85 pounds, which I think is excellent value. Okay guys, to summarize and wrap this up, the pros for the Casio uh, G-Shock 2100 are as follows. Uh, it's a great value, now at around 80 pounds. It's small, although it's only small for a G-Shock. It's very comfortable and very light. It's well protected by that carbon core on the back. Um, it has 200 meters of water resistance and it has endless functionality. And then the cons. The only con I can find about this watch is the discoloration of the bezel, which I showed you on the blue model. It doesn't bother me too much, um, but it might bother you. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had similar experiences with your Cassio Oaks. Um, I'd actually like to know if I'm the only one that's actually had this problem. Okay, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know which color you have or which color you're looking to buy. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more short and to the point, no nonsense reviews like this one. And remember, if you're ever looking for what to watch, just keep an eye out for another one of my videos. See you next time.